Well, a very short video this week. Um, last Thursday, I went to the optician and had an eye test done and all that sort of thing. And that was all fine. And then I woke up on Friday morning and there was a massive great floater in the right hand eye. So I don't know whether they're connected or not uh, because a floater is just uh, collagen um, that has coagulated. But this one is pretty bad and I do get the smaller tiny ones that float around and dart around but yeah this one is definitely a no-no um, so I have to go back to the opticians in the morning today is Monday so I've done a very quick assessment or and fix of the 117 uh, Chrysler that I picked up from a deceased estate a couple of weeks ago there was the Castle Main estate that we sold down in Melbourne on the follow um, the next day which was a Saturday. Uh, this one is intact um, it's got quite a nice case on it not damaged at all um, it has been recapped inside pretty badly and the power cord of course has um, has to be replaced so let's get into it um, i'm sorry there's not much more this week but hopefully next week everything um, will come in because i still don't have the stuff from america in yet so that is taking quite a bit of time it's probably stuck in customs it has definitely been dispatched and yeah so I would think it is um, stuck in customs. The um, vision mixer case and fans and all that sort of jazz is um, being done at the moment. They've had to redesign it apparently. So we'll see how that works out. But that hopefully should be back this week. Uh, and then on Saturday I have another meeting down in Melbourne with the HSRA so yes okay so I'll see you next week and hopefully with some better news on my right eye um, they can laser bombard it and they can change the fluid these days so all is not lost Okay, so I'll see you next week. Bye. As you can see, this is in very nice condition. It was obviously kept out of the sun. It's got its complete badge. It's got its grill. And it's actually quite shiny already. It's got some paint or probably bird droppings on it. Uh, it's got a scratch, a bit of a scratch there, that'll, that's no problem. The grill cloth is, has sort of fallen down a bit. But again, that's no problem. A few spider's webs on it. Okay. So I'm going to turn it upside down and take the bottom off it. These are what is known, at what Chrysler called a sealed set. And just meant it had a screwable bottom on it and they could put some gunk on the screws to see if people had already opened them. Under guarantee, I would imagine. And It's a triple throat too, which is a bit of marketing rubbish because the speaker, as you'll see, is angled at the top. And so one, two, and three grills there. So they called it a triple throat. The guy who ran Chrysler 
was a real marketing guru sort of person and into the real hard sell like a modern new used car dealer so okay we'll turn it over and we'll take the bottom off now i'm not quite sure whether you can see here this was the original sealant and there's a little bit left on the other side as well so it looks like it was red or something it's actually faded to white just trying to get it where there's no reflections yeah so it's very interesting it's obviously been unsealed quite a few times but yeah, and it's got the original well it's got three of the original foam pads on the bottom the case doesn't look quite as good as I first thought this is more the original color this deep rich brown and it has sort of crazed a little bit but still it's in excellent condition this is where i would normally use the overhead camera but as it's still waiting on the switcher okay let's take this off now that is not too bad looks like it's got paint or something in it out a bit so this looks pretty original no it doesn't so we have some modern Phillips caps here some modern wiring this is just floating in the breeze um these may be original although they're not connected are they uh-huh so they've been disconnected that's good and that's yes it's been recapped completely uh-huh so this one is just broken off down there um, so someone has joined the wires together but they haven't used the hook and loop system new cap down there yes it's been recapped completely so what i'm going to do is try and work out is that the one yep so what i'll do is at this stage i'll just um do a hook and loop between here and here that's just for the phono input. This is completely, it's been completely redone. So what I'll do is I'll do this one, which is 0 0.015. and i'll put that in and we'll be back it was playing before as i said in the introduction i don't have my dim bulb tester at the moment i don't know what is wrong with it this is nice and smooth um yeah so one is just floating in the breeze as well. Mm. 
and it's got a new power cord on it which was probably done in the 60s or early 70s so this will have to be replaced with a better one it doesn't look like it's earthed at all replace that and we'll be back so it is on and the Variac is set to about 80 volts so I'll bring it up again slowly there's an awful lot of electrical wire and um, electrical tape in here so we'll see and in fact where do I put the I am so I'll put a aerial on it yeah, which is the aerial this will be this one probably so this will need quite a bit of restoring okay crackling it's up to about 200 volts I think that's the tone So we should have something around about here. out that might be the on-off switch but it can't be it must be the I'm sure that's the band switch these were before power switches on the radio you just plugged it in and hope for the best and you yanked the plug when you didn't want to went on okay so let's try the signal generator and see if the oscillator is actually working sounds like it is but you just don't know 
So I'll put it around, actually what I'll do is I'll just check Yep, that's definitely the aerial. I've rearranged the top bench so whenever I do something with the Variac Right I don't block the camera Well, we're getting a four fifty five through it. to go up to we'll do 600 Nothing. Okay. So we'll try fifteen hundred. Which is the old three AK. there and nothing on the other band either it's funny how we're getting the So something is obviously odd in the front end. And the volume control needs a good clean as well. Okay, so we'll take the top off it and we'll see what's going on. Maybe one of the valves has died or something like that. Okay, I'll be back. So this is where the speaker goes, if I can lift it up. 13th of January, 1948. So this is quite an early version of it. Move that away. And Yep, that's okay. So I'll turn it back on again. I don't know whether you can see this. Okay. So I'll turn it back on again and We'll see what is going on on the top. Now that has 
been butchered at some stage or uh, it's got all electrical tape around it so the insulation probably just dis disintegrated Here's our tone again. I think this is the band switch up here. Ooh, okay. Just didn't like being upside down. How bizarre. It's a little bit out. So it's showing 1550, but I'll realign it once I've recapped it. So I'm going to put it down to 600. So there's a ghost at 1200. Choose to be expected. Yeah, so it's been stretched out because this is. Uh -huh. This is at uh, at five ninety, I'd say. Yeah, five ninety. So that's not too bad for alignment, but okay. Let's turn this off and see if we can pick up any stations. So 3BA, actually we'll try 3LO first. So there is something there. Not She'll um, disconnect the generator. Yeah, she was fine, but I was trying to keep her relaxed. But she goes, when she goes off, she can be a bit handful for 
Well, thank, thank God for the punches that you've done a, a really good job today strapping and keeping her under wraps. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> She's come back in. I'll let you go and grab her. So it doesn't have any sensitivity whatsoever. So it's just picking up 3BA. This shaft is as loose as, but it's the same as the other ones. And it also sticks out a little bit. But there was the same on the other ones as well, so. So I'm going to leave this video here today for medical reasons. I'm not seeing all that well. Uh, so I have to go back to the opticians soon. And I'll speak to you at, uh, shortly in, um, in another week or so, I guess. Okay, bye.